I'm Paul Levinson, and welcome to Light On, Light Through, episode 193, my review of the third episode of Foundation, which I saw late last night on Apple Plus TV. Well, as I said in my review of the first two episodes of the Foundation series last week, the relationship among the Cleon clones triumvirate, Brothers Dawn, Day, and Dusk, was really fascinating, and I thought it was one of the best parts of the TV series not in the original Isaac Asimov stories. And in episode 1.3, that relationship took up at least the first third of the narrative, and I thought it was easily, easily the best part of the episode. It began at the beginning with a revealing conversation between Cleon I and Demersal, but it quickly pivoted to the day before Brother Dusk's death or the day he would become Brother Darkness and turn to dust by some kind of futuristic ray. We see Brother Dawn from the previous episodes grown up now into a vibrant young day, played, of course, by Lee Pace. The former day is now Brother Dusk, but more youthful than he was in the first two episodes. And the clone baby, Brother Dawn, is held in Demersal's arms. All in all, it was a quite impressive and effective set piece of clonal science fiction. I've never seen anything quite like it before. The rest of the episode takes place on Terminus, and it suffers from not being enough of the story. I thought it ended way too quickly and it could have benefited from the vault being opened and Harry giving his holographic advice and appraisal of the situation. Salver Harden's story seemed to stop right in the middle. Now, that might have worked okay if the fourth episode had been viewable, but it wasn't. And in fact, my favorite scene in the Terminus part of the episode was the statue of Harry Seldon, which I noticed in one of the trailers for Foundation last month. And uh, it's somehow reminiscent, I thought, of the famous statue of V.I. Lennon. I've put pictures of both of them up in the show notes to this episode, so what do you think? But it does make sense, because Harry Seldon is to the Galactic Empire, as V.I. Lenin was to the Russian Empire. Anyway, I'll be back here next week with a review of the fourth episode of Foundation, and I'll very likely be back here even before then with a review of the new Sopranos movie. The Light on Light Through podcast. Well, I hope you enjoyed that brief review of the third episode of the Foundation series on Apple Plus TV. I'll be back here soon with another review. In the meantime, stay safe, stay well, and enjoy. Athens, 2042 A.D. She ripped the paper in half, then ripped the halves, then ripped what was left, again, into bits and pieces of history that could have been. Sierra Waters had read once that, years ago, it was thought that men made love for the thrill, while women made love for the sense of connection it gave them. Curled up with a good book says, Sierra Waters is sexy as hell. 
You can find out more about The Plot to Save Socrates by Paul Levinson at theplottosavesocrates.com. Paul Levinson still codes about an ancient biotech war raging on in secret for centuries. 